Hello and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today I want to talk to you about layering vinyl and a really fun hack that you may or may not have seen. There is a viral hack going around TikTok and that is using parchment paper to easily layer, line up and layer your vinyl. I am going to see whether or not wax paper works well for this because we have lots of people asking if they can use wax paper. So we're gonna answer that question today. I bet it will work just as good, if not better than parchment paper. But when I'm talking about freezer paper, it's literally freezer paper that you would have in your kitchen. So it's pretty inexpensive. You likely have it already. And I think it will make layering really nice and easy. For this project, I already cut out two graphics. I have an offset and the actual logo that I'll be layering on top. I have this little bin that I am going to be applying the decal to. I have my freezer paper. I have a squeegee tool, the small piece of freezer paper that I've already cut out, and then I'll also be using transfer tape. So first off, we wanna take our transfer tape and go ahead and apply it to the bottom layer. You can do this method for as many layers as you want, and you can reuse this piece of transfer tape for all of those layers. So don't trash that after the first layer. Here at Oak and Land, we like to flip our mat over, remove our mat from our vinyl, and then squeegee or burnish from the back so that the vinyl transfers over well to the transfer tape. Now we can go ahead and remove this. And you can go ahead and grab your freezer paper if you want to for this part. Um, if you have trouble lining up even the bottom layer, then go ahead and put your freezer paper on. But I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this directly to my bin because I don't generally have trouble doing that. Um, and then I'll show you the method with the second layer. Now we'll just take our squeegee and burnish so that the vinyl adheres well to this bin and then we can remove our transfer tape. Now, like I said, with the exact same piece of transfer tape, let's go ahead and place this on our other layer, burnish it so that it adheres well to the transfer tape, and then we'll remove from the mat and burnish from the back just like we did with the other layer. This is the point where we will want to grab our wax paper. But before I move on, I wanna point out if you are new to cricketing, then check out our beginner video on how to use adhesive vinyl. It's a great instructional video. If you are unsure, if you have some questions about adhesive vinyl, it will likely answer all of them. So check that video out. Now what I'm going to do, since parchment paper is not waxy at all, the non-waxy side would be pretty equivalent to parchment paper, so if you wanted to use that side, you could. However, the side I'm going to be using today is this waxy side. I feel like it will remove from the vinyl a whole lot easier. Not that parchment paper gives me any problems, but I just think that the waxy side would be even better. So what you want to do is apply this to the graphic and you want to leave a little bit of the graphic showing up here. Now what I want to do is grab my bin and then I'm going to place this, I'm gonna hover over my graphic just like this. And the reason that we like this method or other crafters like this method is if you were trying to do hover over this and place it, without this, if you accidentally touched the bottom or the sides or something like that with your vinyl and the transfer tape, chances are uh, you, you're gonna be stuck there. A lot of times if you're super, super, super careful, then you can peel up, but sometimes it will distort and kind of stretch the vinyl. So this is an easier method for doing that. You can sort of see through the wax paper, which is really nice. So I'm just going to line this up until it's nice and centered. And then what I want to do is with my finger, I'm gonna go ahead and burnish. I can also take my burnishing tool and burnish up here. 
just like this. Okay, so at this point, what I'm going to do is lift the backing and the decal and then remove the wax paper. Before I move any further, I will say, I think this is going to work well. So to answer that question, yes, you can use wax paper, but the advantage of using parchment paper over freezer or wax paper is that the parchment paper is more see-through, so it's easier to place. But as you can see, I didn't have any problems here. Anyway, let's go ahead and pull this up. And then what we're going to do, we're not gonna pull this all the way off. That's still gonna stay where it was. Now we can remove this and place it down. And then with our squeegee tool, we'll burnish down and remove this transfer and we have a perfectly placed layer. And again, if you had several different layers, like if I had a fill piece here or some different things, maybe I wanted to put a little piece right here on its ear, then I can use this same piece, this same piece and just layer, layer, layer until the layering is complete. I hope you enjoyed this fun hack for layering vinyl. If you did and you like other crafting videos like this, you will love Oak and Lamb. I'd love to invite you to click the link below and find out what we are about here at Oak and Lamb. Our membership offers great education like this, member only education, as well as access to our private Facebook group where you get all sorts of support from the staff here at Oak and Lamb, as well as the other flock members. In addition, you get access to our entire library of cut files that we update regularly. With those cut files, you get free commercial use license so that you can use and sell products legally with those. I would love to extend a special offer for you using the code FUN, F-U-N, you can receive $10 off your first month membership here at Oak and Lamb. That makes your first month $9.99. How affordable is that? If you try it out and decide we're not for you, you can easily cancel, but I would be shocked if you did not love the Oak and Lamb community. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you here another day for another crafty video.